Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Sullivan family. I couldn't resist it. Couldn't resist it this morning. I couldn't resist popping down to the front there, to the water, the water's edge, which is literally, I mean, there's our back gate. So, and there's the water. Couldn't resist it. So, it's a nice start this morning. It's a really nice start, but the weather's not gonna hold today, guys. It's gonna be absolutely pouring down. So, um, I was gonna, I was planning to go, hang on. Sorry, I just come into the back garden. Yeah, I was planning to take the kids out this afternoon. We've got lots of work to, work to do this morning, um, but I was gonna take them out for a walk, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen because the weather's uh, atrocious this afternoon. But this morning, it's beautiful. So, Saturday, what's the plan for today, you ask? Right, so today is... <laughs> I've got the little ones making faces through the window. Yeah, so today's all about um, Olivia and Isabel's room downstairs. So that's the one room we haven't tackled yet, and we're going to give it a damn good go today, especially this morning. We're going to give it a good shot, trying to get everything sorted out. We're going to get everything out of it. We're going to build the units that need to be built. We're having a real problem getting their beds delivered because we've moved to Burghead. It's almost collapsed even more so as the Highlands and Islands. Um, and we're finding that trying to get things delivered here specifically is quite difficult. I don't know why because we're still on the mainland. Um, but it's just one of those things that with uh, living in this sort of area, um, you get classed as being one of the islands and therefore you're not part of the mainland Scotland. I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. But anyway, so their beds got cancelled. Uh, we've just ordered some other beds from another company and we're just waiting for the shipping details for that. So fingers crossed, we can get beds for the girls, the beds that they want. Um, but anyway, we're gonna be ripping their bedroom out uh, we're going to be going in, putting curtains up, uh, sorting it out, building the units need to be built, like I've just said, uh, and trying to, just trying to make it nice for them um, because theirs has been the last one to get to, if you know what I mean. Pretty much every, every, all the big stuff now is done, I think. All the beds are built, curtains are up, units are built. Oh no, there's lots of wardrobes to build. Sorry, there's lots of wardrobes to build. There's wardrobes in um, Elizabeth's room, Elizabeth, Charlotte and Eva's room. There's a wardrobe in those to build. I'm just trying to remember. Trying to remember. Yeah, so there's a few things left to build, but that will be done um, as and when over the next, you know, week, few weeks, few days, few weeks, whatever. But what I'd really like to say is thank you very much for all of the supportive comments we had on yesterday's vlog. Honestly, guys, um, you, you guys are amazing. The guys, you guys that support us are absolutely amazing. And um, I know sometimes um, we vlog about some of the negativity that we get uh, because sometimes it does get to you, you know. Um, but Zoe was quite rightly, she wanted to, to talk about it yesterday and she did, um, but that, that doesn't take anything away from the massive, massive support we get from you guys. Um, the, you know, the, the love and support that you guys send us is absolutely fantastic and it really, really makes us feel so much better. And, um, and we love making these vlogs, guys. We absolutely love making these vlogs, which is the most important thing for us. It's part of our life now. Um, when you first start YouTube, it's kind of a, how does how does vlogging fit into your life? Well, after about five years of vlogging, it's part of our life now. It really is, and we really really enjoy it. So I just wanted to tell you that, and to say thank you. So for now, in fact, we're going to see what everyone's up to. Let's go see what everyone's up to. I think Florence has had her breakfast. <laughs> Florence has had her breakfast. Hi Zoe. How are you doing? So, morning, Zoe. Morning. <laughs> we haven't had a coffee yet. We're going to have a coffee in a minute. Florence has had her breakfast. Hi, guys. Hi. They're having their breakfast. Way. <laughs> what are you watching? Roblox. Florence has, Florence, has, Florence has had her breakfast, haven't you? Yes, yes. Oh. Roblox. Okay, all right, okay, don't shout at me, I know, I just heard. So they're having their breakfast at the moment. Uh, we're just about to have our breakfast and our coffee and, and that. So, it's all systems go in the Sullivan house this morning. I'm going to get breakfast finished with Zoe, and then we're going to get everybody dressed, and it'll be time to crack on. So, hi. Hi. Are you all right? Have you finished? Have you finished your breakfast, have you? Okay. So, we'll see you in a bit, guys. Change of rooms over there. Oh, you go. Now I have one. 
Agnes, the tenderest children, but Agnes, the tenderest children to me now. I want to go to the trampoline place, please. Wait, Tiki. Right, Tiki. Here's my ticket. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, only one that. Where's your trampoline? Riding the rides in the, the fair. Me and you. And Okay, that's everybody dressed. The younger ones are playing outside nicely. Look at that pile of rubbish there. That, that is going to the tip tomorrow. That's going to the recycling centre tomorrow. We've got cardboard coming out of our ears. So yeah, they're playing nicely outside. So everybody, everybody is dressed. Uh, everybody is sorted. The baby's having a little sleep in the dining room in the buggy, so she's okay. We'll keep a listen out for her. I'm just gonna check, see if everybody's okay. Is anybody in the bedroom? Nobody's in the bedroom. So the room we're sorting out today is this one. This one at the end of the corridor there. This is um, Olivia and Isabel's bedroom. And it's the last one that we've had a chance to sort out, to be honest. Only because most of the stuff as it's come in the house has been dumped here. And slowly but surely over the last week or so, we've managed to unbox things and take them upstairs and build them and get them out of the way. So now it's the girls' turn to get a bedroom sorted. Um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to actually getting the cardboard out the window so we can put curtains up and put a few other things up, you know, the drawers, set of drawers needs building, get some boxes unpacked, all that kind of stuff. So fingers crossed, by the end of the day, I'll be looking really sharp and really nice for them. So that, and that'll probably be one of the last, that is, that is the last bedroom that we have to sort out. Obviously, like I said to you earlier, there are other things to build there. We've still got wardrobes and stuff to build. But that's something that we can do as and when we've got time to do them now. We are pretty much in. So we're definitely, there's definitely light and uh, light at the end of the tunnel for sure. I don't know where everybody's gone. Everybody was here two seconds ago. I just thought I'd go outside and see, see where, see how the little ones are getting on. Oh, there's one. Say hi, Eva. <laughs> Eva's just having a chill out for five minutes. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a time lapse, obviously, because there's a lot of work to do, so we'll be time lapsing today. Uh, and we'll get the bedroom um, emptied in so we can start doing all of the stuff that we need to do. So that's a good bit of progress made. So we've put on 
the new light fitting, the new lampshade there. Uh, the curtains are on and fitted, so they're looking nice. Next thing, uh, Isabel is building their new unit. That's that. What's that? Your drawer unit. Mum's. So that's a mum's unit from IKEA, isn't it? Yeah. So, so we're building that. I've got another one that's that's in that cupboard there. That's kind of come out. That's been put in there, out of the way for a minute. We'll get that out in a second. Um, but it, but it's good progression. I like it because now at least the cardboard's out of the window and the curtains up, which makes it look less. I don't know. <laughs> you know, makes it look nicer. Okay, so I want to introduce you to somebody. This is my new drill. It's my Ryobi drill, right? Now, I've had drills, loads of drills in the past, but I've always gone for the cheaper option. I've gone for like the Tesco value drill, and then the last drill that I had, had a, long, a cable on it. So the cable, you had, to, you had to get an extension lead and all this kind of stuff. So I was looking, before we moved, I needed a new cordless drill um, and I searched online, I searched on Amazon, I searched all over the place, I was looking in Argos, all these, all, the, all these different places. And this drill, the Ryobi, kept coming up, right? Now, this isn't a collaboration video, this isn't a gifted video, we bought this drill, but fair's fair, okay? I couldn't have done the move without this drill. Honestly, I couldn't have done the move without it. It's been an absolute godsend. It's even so easy to use. The girls have been using it. I'm not saying you're stupid girls. The girls have been using it. Isabel's just, Isabel's found her calling. She, she's now building furniture like a joiner. You know what I mean? Um, the kids can use it. It's safe. It's like obviously supervised, but the kids are using it, um, helping them to, do, to build DIY furniture and all that kind of stuff. It's been an absolute godsend. The battery lasts for ages. I've got two batteries with it. It was a hundred pounds all in. That was the two, the battery, the extra battery, the box that, so this, so that box, so can you see that? The box of accessories as well. It was all off Amazon. And I just wanted to say, honestly, due where, due, well, credit where credit's due. Yeah, this drill has been an absolute godsend and I don't think we could have done anything without it. <laughs> It's broken down all the stuff in the garden. It's got rid of, it's broken down all the furniture we needed to break down. It's built the fur new furniture that we wanted. It's built the beds. It's done everything it's asked of, honestly. And it's even, even, I don't need to use my big drill to drill into the walls because it's got a hammer setting on it. So it's been able to do the, um, the holes in the wall for the, uh, sorry, my wife is whispering, <laughs> trying to be quiet. <laughs> Are you all right, Zoe? I'm communicating with Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you see, it even does the, with the hammer set in, it does the holes in the wall for the raw plugs as well. So I just wanted to just spend a moment talking about this and just letting you know if anybody's looking for a drill, this thing has been absolutely fantastic. The Royobi drill. Oh, do you remember when you bought the Royobi something else and, but you didn't buy the power pack? Yes, I know. Yeah. I did that, I yeah. So, so about Ryobi's, they all use the same, they all use the same battery as well. So everything they, everything you get from Ryobi has the same battery so it's really handy but no i had to talk about that because i've been meaning to talk about it well all the way through these vlogs but haven't haven't found the time so there you go if you're looking for a drill go for that one Mind your fingers. What are you saying? Oh, she wants to bang. Oh, she wants to bang as well. She Florence is helping. Florence, do some jumping. This is where she needs a little toy. Oh, little yeah. hammer. You need a little toy hammer, don't you? <laughs> she does have one. <laughs> you do it. You bang. Can you bang? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you're so funny, Florence. All right, guys, so um, a lot of good progress has been made this morning. Um, we've got, we've really cracked on in here. Isabel's still building her unit. She's now doing the drawers. Well done, Isabel, you're doing a cracking job. She won't let me help her. I have offered. I offered to help her. She went, no, I'm doing it myself. I was like, all right, fine, okay. No problem, I'll leave you to it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, we've got Elizabeth upstairs doing, she's unpacking, some of the other children are unpacking. Charlotte was unpacking this morning as well, so everybody's getting on top of it today. Uh, we're gonna do a bit more in here after lunch, but it's pouring down, as you've just seen. The rain's, the rain's hit. It was forecast. You can't do anything about the weather, can you? So um, most of them will be staying inside, but they're, they're amusing themselves with uh, colouring and crafting and whatever else. Okay, so now's a good time to stop. Uh, the baby is crying in the kitchen because she's starving. It's 12 o'clock lunchtime. So we're going to stop. We're going to get lunch done and then we'll uh, catch up with you after, guys. What? Can each of us get a pack of rainbow belts? Rainbow belts? Are you serious? Yeah. What are rainbow belts? The fizzy things? Yeah, the sour things. The sour, the sour rainbow fizzy belts. sweets? Yeah, they're so good. What? The, which ones? The rainbow belts? Yeah. yeah. With the sugar and then the, the rainbow. Oh, I bet they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they We're are having a ones. girls' day today. You're having a girls' day today? Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, we've had lunch. It's about half past one now. There's a bit of a break in the weather for about an hour. So I thought to myself, as Isabel doesn't need my help anymore, the girls are cracking on on their own. Zoe's staying behind with them to give them a hand. She's also going to do a couple of her own jobs upstairs. I think she's going to have a chin wag with you in a minute as well. Um, so I thought, why not take them out for an hour while we've got a break in the weather? There's supposed to be thunderstorms at four. Girls, 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 stay on this side. Okay, stay on this side, that's it. It's supposed to be a thunderstorm at four o'clock. So um, I just thought, why not, why not? So as it's Saturday, we're gonna go down to the shop. I'm gonna let them buy some sweeties. And um, we're just gonna go for a wander, just for half an hour, just get some fresh air. Because it's nice. Right, we're only getting some sweeties, okay? I'm really hot. Daddy might get a coffee, actually. Mm. 
Are you getting a costa? Down this way. Costa? Yeah, I might get a costa. Oh, that's what you want, is it? Yeah, can all, all of right, us... Right, let me have a look. Can all of us get a pack of rainbow bells? Okay, you can, but you're not having all of them right now. All right? You can get a packet each and you can save some for later or tomorrow. Is that a deal? Yes, yeah. rainbow. Rainbow. rainbow bells. Show me, is that a deal? Yeah. Did you listen to the deal? Yeah. All right, you're not scoffing them all right now. You can have some. Um, um, right, okay. okay. Do we need... Oh, we need to get some drinks. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Go down to the drinks. Well, this is nice, isn't it? I've got my costa. Just thought we'd come and sit Rainbow down on Coastal Path. So, let's, this. yeah, you're not eating any more now. Oh, yeah, put them away now. Right, that's your last Daddy. one, okay? That's your last Daddy. one. I've eaten seven. Yeah. Daddy, you... What do you mean you've eaten seven? Daddy, Daddy, you're getting burp poop. Monkeys, on monkeys. Getting burp poop. On your... Burp poop? On your Am back. I? I'm getting burp poop Daddy. on my back. Are you serious? Say please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're back on the coastal path. So just up that way is our house. And then the coastal path carries on down this way as well. But we're right here. I haven't drunk any of my cousin's son. I haven't drunk any of my cousin's son. We're going to have to head home in a minute because I think the weather's coming in again. And I don't want to get caught out. Can I get one more? No, that's it. That's your last one. That's your last one. Save the rest. Save the rest for later when we get home, okay? I'm going to eat this one. All right? Well, I don't know. We'll just save them, Daddy, okay? Daddy, can we save them for home? Yes, save them for home. That's a good so idea. So when we get back, we can eat them. Okay. Uh, no. Hang on. I feel like I'm getting conned, dear. I that was that was a, that was a, like an uh, an information overload. Let's just take them home and then we'll put them in the kitchen and then can maybe have them tomorrow. Wait, I have a rainbow. I think time. is what I was trying to get, at, and then I just got confused by the children. I got rainbow time. They're good at doing that. Right, we're going to drink up, then we're going to head home. Okay, we're back, guys. I just want to come through and see how Isabel's getting on. Wow. Okay, Isabel's done loads. In fact, I'll turn the camera around and show you. Okay, I'm on super wide. So Isabel's built her set of drawers, by the looks I of it. I built the other day. That one was oh, yeah. Day. So you built the other set of drawers. Yep. Are you going to keep the drawers like that now, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? So you've built your set of drawers. And what are you building now? Alex drawers. Alex drawers. Do you know what? It's going to look... Oh, they're really nice, aren't they? Do you know what? It's going to look really nice when it's finished. It's going to be really nice. Well done. She's been cracking on. Well trained, that's what it is, isn't it? Daddy's, yeah. tra Daddy's trained you well. So um, yeah, what, the other thing we're going to do in this room is we're going to get um, square stick-on mirrors. I don't know if you've seen them, you can do like different kind of designs with them. So square stick-on mirrors for the doors, because we think that'll look really nice and it'll kind of match the light shade as well for them. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Move the light on. There you it's go. better. Yeah, so match that light shade there. Uh, and that'll look lovely. So you'll have your Alex drawers, your new, be your new beds. Our beds aren't coming to September. What? Yeah. The new beds aren't coming until September. See, this is what happens when you when you live in the north of Scotland like this. Like I said earlier, you do get this problem with delivery. I know it's been it's been discussed in Parliament in Scotland and everything about what they can do to stop this kind of um, this problem with delivering to the north of Scotland because we're kind of we're near the Highlands, but we're not the Highlands. We're Murray. Uh, but it's really difficult because obviously they, on their computer systems, the company's computer systems, according to them, we are on the island. So it's extra shipping. So whereas if you're um, down in England or whatever, you'll get normal shipping for free. Um, we have to pay extra. So we're paying an extra 50, 60 pounds, is it, for the shipping? 
Uh, it's gonna, yeah, 60 for the beds. 60 for the beds to, to get them delivered up here. Um, luckily, the beds were on a 50% sale, so, so they were half price anyway. Um, so we didn't mind paying the shipping. But yeah, it's a real problem. What can you do, eh? What can you do? Lots of progress in here today. I'm very impressed as well. Lots of progress. Okay, so while the girls have been busy downstairs doing their room to so drawers sorting out their clothes all that sort of thing and they've been out and about since come back i've been in here sorting out stuff in our ottoman bed which i would show you but i've now closed it so all of the shoes that i keep um so i keep shoes that have loads of life left in them and stuff rather than selling them or giving them away or putting them in you know the rag bag or whatever um if they're good enough to wear again i'll wash them and keep them um for the next person who might, might need shoes because it always helps help even if it's just hello you oh you've got a spare you've got a dolly you show sure everybody use dolly oh that's a nice dolly oh i'm just gonna pop dolly in the in the bag okay. oh dolly's dolly's going in there dolly's gone in the bag um yeah so it, it helps even if it's just means that like the little ones especially they've got a spare pair of trainers to wear for out and about you know in the garden or whatever it always helps um the older sizes don't really get kept much of because they tend to the feet don't tend to grow when they get older and they tend to wear their shoes till they're worn out or sometimes they might go down to the next person because straight away because they've worn them or whatever so i don't tend to have many of the older sizes ones but i've got quite a few pairs of younger ones so they all used to go in boxes underneath the bed um but trouble is putting them in boxes they're quite rigid and it was always quite difficult to fit them in so what i've done this time now we've got this is one of the reasons i wanted an ottoman bed as well so that i could keep stuff inside it um so we paid to have the um rather than just the ottoman that comes up and then you put everything in the framework on the floor we've actually got the boxed it's boxed out so i use my sheen bags my trusty sheen bags and bag up the shoes just write the size on them um put them in underneath so i've got like in size order in underneath the bed so i've always got spare shoes um sometimes they don't sometimes wellies don't work all that well saving them because the coating on them goes a bit sticky but it's normally fine for the little ones um i've also had two ottomans in our old bed big ottomans in our old bedroom sorry which both had bedding in so one had like baby bedding and baby quilts and sheets and all that sort of thing baby blankets the other one had all the rest of the bedding because i never had anywhere to keep um the bedding because we only had a really small airing cupboard which only fitted the towels in so that was another reason in wanting an ottoman bed was to fit it all in here so i've now got one side for shoes and one side for bedding so i've managed to get rid of one ottoman so far so i'm halfway through putting the washing out as well i've managed to get through one ottoman so far and put all of that bedding um in there now i've got to go through the baby stuff to fill up the rest of the um under the bed and that will be that'll be done so that saves quite a lot of space uh just by doing that which is quite handy so that's what i've been doing this afternoon along monks doing the washing and all the other bits and pieces i managed to catch up on my washing this week because the weather's been good and we've got a really good washing line so i managed to get the washing out apart from today which has been raining every other day i've managed to get my washing out on the line so i've pretty much touch wood caught up with my washing obviously by this evening i won't be caught up but i am at the moment she's playing with the dolls so yeah it's been quite productive quite productive it's just getting rid of all those little bits now because all the you know like i said yesterday in the vlog when you've gone through all the big boxes and got rid of all the big stuff you're then left with lots of little bits but it's quite oh i see i see you see as well. What you say? Say I see. Say I see. What's this? What's this? 
interested in the song. She's speaking out. Um, she's just started gabbling along in her own little language and it's really cute. So yeah, it's quite often those bits that take the longer time because you've got to sort something else out before you can sort that thing out and you've got to make space for that thing. So and it's all kind of a bit of a knock-on effect. Anyway, I've got to go out this evening, get some back-to-school stuff that we need. Uh, I pop over to the storage unit to get some, grab some clothes out of there and believe it or not, get some more shopping because I haven't done a big shop. I keep needing bits at the supermarket. I've got to get back into the routine of doing a big shop soon. Anyway, I'm going to go and see what they're all up to because I think they might be building another wardrobe. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's 20 to 6 on a Saturday evening. It's been a very productive day. We had a severe rainstorm this afternoon. Kids, okay. kids went up for about two minutes and um, they were, all came running back in because there was thunder, lightning and a, a massive rainstorm. So, so they spent the rest of the afternoon indoors. Well, it stopped again now and the skies have gone blue again. Yeah, they have. It's all blue out there again. But it's been, like I said, it's been a very productive day. So we've got quite a bit done in the girls' room, haven't we? I, I actually... Isabel's brilliant at DIY. She's, She's just cracking so straight on, building all this kit. Get to build all my DIY. Yeah, I know. She's gone with the drill. She's off like. She's building all of her stuff. It's really, really good. I built Elizabeth's wardrobe in her bedroom as well, so that's another tick. Another tick. Uh, a big uh, 100 centimetre wardrobe built. Just got to build Noah's wardrobe now. And who else has got a wardrobe that I've got Yours. Oh, mine, yeah. I've got mine. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been good. It's been a good day today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what we've got planned for tomorrow. I think we're going to go out somewhere, aren't we? In the afternoon. I've got to do a tip run in the morning and then we're going to, we're going to plan to get all the kids out because obviously going back to school next week. So it'd be nice to just um, just get get them out for the afternoon or whatever we're planning, aren't we? For dinner. For dinner. I call it dinner, but you know, it's... Going out for dinner. It's a place where they sell fast food. <laughs> yeah, going out for fast food. I haven't to anybody yet because... Well, we, I can't remember the last time we went out for dinner, <laughs> you know, at like some fancy restaurant well, we did or something. When we were away. Oh yeah, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, of course we did. I forgot about that. That was nice. That was nice. <sighs> anyway, guys, that's it for today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Just leaves me to say, like I always do, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for subscribing. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.